Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, chord uh, AB along with this uh, subtended arc uh, AB fully inscribed uh, in a circle with a center O as you can see in this given diagram such that the length uh, of this arc uh, AB is 8 units whereas uh, this arc uh, AB is 88 degrees. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, circle with the center of. So therefore we must find uh, the radius of this uh, circle uh, first. And I am going to label uh, the radius uh, of this circle as uh, lowercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, radius lowercase r. And in this uh, next step, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have drawn uh, this uh, diameter BC that passes through this uh, center of. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OB is the radius of this circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And likewise, uh, OC is the radius as well. So this is going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, diameter BC length is going to be 2 times uh, lowercase r. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point A. As you can see in this uh, next step, so we can see this is uh, our radius uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle uh, AOB is going to be equal to this arc uh, AB angle. And we know our arc AB angle is uh, 88 degrees. So therefore uh, this uh, AOB angle turns out to be 88 degrees. So thus we can see that this uh, angle at the center turns out to be 88 degrees. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, these points A and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And here we can see that this uh, angle uh, ACB is the angle uh, at the circumference. Whereas uh, this angle uh, AOB is the angle at the center. So therefore according to this uh, central angle uh, theorem, this angle uh, at the circumference is going to be half of this uh, angle at the center. If this is 88 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 44 degrees. So thus our angle ACB turns out to be 44 degrees. And now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if we have these uh, three points uh, A, B and C on the very same uh, circle, where the line uh, BC is the diameter, then the angle uh, BAC has got to be a right angle. In other words, uh, this angle has got to be 90 degree angle. So no wonder our this angle uh, BAC is going to be a 90 degree angle since uh, these points uh, A, B and C are our three distinct points uh, on the very same circle. And moreover, this uh, BC is the diameter. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Sine of angle theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by the hypotenuse. And in our case, uh, our uh, angle uh, is 44 degrees. So the side opposite to that one is going to be 8. And the hypotenuse uh, is going to be this diameter 2 times r. So therefore, we can write down uh, sine of our angle uh, 44 degrees is going to be equal to our opposite side is 8 divided by our hypotenuse is 2 times r. And if we reduce this right hand side, this could be written as 
for divided by lowercase r radius so therefore we can write as four divided by lowercase r equal to sine of 44 degrees and now i'm going to tweak the right hand side by just putting one underneath and i'm going to flip them over on both sides so therefore this could be written as lowercase r divided by 4 is going to be equal to 1 divided by sine of uh, angle 44 degrees and now I'm going to multiply both uh, sides by 4 to isolate this radius r and here we can see this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore uh, our radius uh, lowercase uh, r turns out to be 4 divided by sine of angle 44 degrees so thus our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be 4 divided by sine of 44 degrees and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi times r square where lowercase r is the radius of the circle and in our case uh, our lowercase r value is 4 divided by sine of 44 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so i'm going to put down uh, pi outside times uh, 4 divided by sine of uh, 44 degrees whole square and now we know that uh, sine of 44 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.69466 so therefore i am going to substitute that value over here now we are going to substitute so therefore uh, the area of this uh, circle is going to be approximately equal to pi times uh, 4 divided by 0 0.69466 whole square and if we simplify this part uh, that is going to be approximately equal to 33.16 so therefore uh, the area of this circle uh, turns out to be approximately equal to 33.16 uh, times uh, pi square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, circle uh, turns out to be 33.16 one six uh, times pi square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 104.17 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye